Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, it's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, that's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, we just want to talk about miracles. Uh, if you are an atheist, uh, I'm, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, you can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, we'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, you can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, but please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, the email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T O N. Y, and the second word is and, spelled A-N-D, and the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. Our miracle story today is going to be about a friend of mine, and I want to keep him anonymous. So let's uh, assume that his name is John Smith, and I'll tell you about a wonderful coincidence miracle that happened to him. His name, again, we're going to assume is John Smith. Uh, John knows uh, many of the things I've been sharing with you on prior shows here, uh, that God speaks to us very often by sending us ideas and by sending us inspirations. And as most of you know, the word idea is two words, the word I plus Deo. And so the word idea means I and God, because Deo is the Latin word for God. And the word inspirations is also two words, the word in and the word spiration, which means that the Holy Spirit is coming into us and giving us a message. So an inspiration means the same thing as an idea. Both words mean that God is speaking to us. So John is aware of that, too. Uh, and the amazing story that happened to him begins with the fact that he had some important things he had to decide about. So he wrote a letter to a company asking them to approve some things. He needed some certain uh, things approved by them in order for him to achieve the thing he was trying to achieve. So he wrote the letter, and then the next day he was still concerned about it. He had not gotten a response yet. And so he went to daily Mass, uh, to the Holy Mass, and uh, while he was in there, he noticed an amazing coincidence because just as he was about to swallow the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Bread that they give him at Mass, uh, he noticed accidentally or coincidentally by God's design that the time was 12.37 p.m. So he noticed that he was swallowing the Holy Eucharist at 12.37 uh, p.m. Uh, and so then after Mass, uh, he went to his car, uh, and he was checking his iPhone for messages, and he found out that he did get a response from the company, and he, he saw the time dated on his iPhone, and his response came to him at 12.37 p.m., which was exactly the same time that he was swallowing the Holy Eucharist inside the church. So now he knows why he noticed that uh, he was swallowing the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Bread, at 1237. It was God's way of letting him know that just as he went to Mass and was praying and asking God to help him with wisdom, that God was giving him the Holy Eucharist at the same time that the response was coming in. So he read the response uh, 
that that he got from the company when he was at his car later after mass and he found so he tells me about 80 percent of what he had asked for uh, they did approve and so now he was trying to decide whether he should uh, write back to them and push for getting the other 20 percent to get 100 percent of uh, what he needed or uh, should he just accept the 80 percent of what he had gotten and, and go with that uh, so he decided he got another idea. Again, the word idea can be an inspiration from God. So he got another idea uh, to wait uh, and listen to the one o'clock news because it was exactly one o'clock now as he was sitting there in his car and he didn't want to miss the news that day. So he got an idea, turned the news on, and he, he's, he's assuming that God was again giving him another miracle like he did by having him swallow the Holy Eucharist at the right time. So he felt God wanted him to turn the radio on, and he, he turned the radio on. And I just want to remem- remind you now, remember we're assuming that my friend's name is John Smith because I want to tell you what he heard as soon as he put the radio on at this moment, 1 o'clock. Uh, he puts the radio on, and he hears the announcer saying that the first words coming out of the radio, coming out of the uh, announcer's mouth, as soon as he puts the radio on, here's what he hears. He hears, John Smith has made a decision today and responded uh, with an answer today. Now, now I'm telling you that because uh, his name, we're assuming, is John Smith, and the radio announcer mentioned his name. In other words... He was led to turn the radio on, wondering if he should respond to the letter he had received. And as soon as he puts the radio on, he hears the radio announcer say, John Smith did decide and responded favorably today. So he's getting an answer from the radio at 1 (laughs) o'clock to the question he was asking God, should I respond? And the radio announcer was saying that, he was going to respond and actually mentioned his name. Now it turns out the radio station is in New York City and my friend lives in Connecticut Um, and it turns out that there's a man with the exact same name as my friend who uh, lives in New York and he's a uh, a, a public official in New York and they have the same name and the radio announcer was saying John Smith responded today favorably perfectly at the right moment. Now, you can't make these things up. I mean, this was really unbelievable and a clear miracle for my friend who we're assuming is uh, John Smith. It might help if we just picture for a moment that either you or I had John Smith's problem. Uh, you wrote to a company. You wanted uh, 100% of the answer. Uh, you went to Mass. You you saw at 1237 p.m. that you were swallowing the Holy Eucharist and later you find that the company responded to you at that same moment um, and when you're you're wondering whether you should respond when you get to your car you are inspired uh, you got an idea to turn the news on because it was one o'clock and God knew that you were trying to make this decision whether you should respond or not and God inspires you to turn the radio on And then you turn the radio on, and the first thing you hear is your name, your own personal name, announced on a New York station, and you're living in a different state. And the message is that you have responded today favorably, and that was your question as you turned the radio on. Uh, I think if you think about it in terms of your name being announced on a radio or television uh, two seconds after you're trying to make a, a serious decision, you can see how excited my friend was and uh, when he shared this story with me. And it is a definite coincidence miracle in many ways. The Eucharist, uh, and then he's at the car. Uh, he notices the one o'clock hour. Uh, he's inspired to turn the news on. He hears his name. I mean, these are coincidence miracles, one right after the other. And then he tells me that when he heard his name mentioned, I mean, he was trying to figure out if he was imagining this or was he really hearing the radio? Uh, Was this something just happening to him mentally in his mind or was it a true story? And then he he listened to the radio uh, news from like 1 to 115, so he knows he was not imagining this. But what he tells me is that it took his breath away 
to hear his name and to hear the answer he was asking God for took his breath away. So he took a really deep breath, and as most of us do when we're stunned and shocked and surprised, he took a deep breath and he looked up to heaven, and he looked out his window on the driver's side of the car. And what was outside the car was a traffic jam, and a cab was stuck in the traffic jam but parked right outside of my friend's car. And when he took his deep breath and looked out the window to look up at the sky, he notices that the cab is there in a traffic jam, and the phone number on the cab is area code 203 for Connecticut, but the rest of the numbers were all sevens. So the number was 203-777-777. Uh, four sevens at the end. So seven sevens, the number seven, seven times uh, after the area code of 203 because he was in Connecticut. And as I hope you all remember by now after all the shows, the number 777 is the number for God. It's the holiest number in history, just like three sixes is the number for the devil in the Bible. The three sevens is to remind us of God's presence, his power, and his permission And so my friend saw this cab parking there as a clear sign that God was indeed giving him all of these miracles on this particular day. The next coincidence miracle I'd like to share with you is that when I was preparing my notes on this story I just told you to be aired on the radio today, I was pulling my notes together. I had to uh, go to the uh, hospital for some special tests that my doctor was requesting. Uh, He saw some indicators in the last physical that he didn't like, so he wanted me to go for some testing. And just like most human beings, I don't like going for testing because I'm always uh, imagining the worst is going to happen. But I prayed for wisdom, and I prayed for God's blessing, and I drove to the hospital to get the testing done. On the same day, I was preparing uh, these notes for this radio show. And what happened was, when I got to the hospital... uh, to park in the parking lot. Uh, As I pulled into the parking lot, a a cab with the same number I just told you about, 203-777-777, was pulling out. So we passed each other, and I took that as a good sign from God that he was going to be there to bless me because I saw all the sevens. Um, And then when I got to the front door, also at the front door was another cab, the same number, phone number, same company. So I, not only as I pulled into the parking lot, saw the car, uh, the cab pulling out, but now I saw another cab, meaning there were two cabs in there as I was pulling in. The second cab is parked right at the main entrance, giving me a second affirmation that God was with me. And then when I left the hospital after the testing was done uh, on the way home, I was inspired to stop for gas. So I stopped for gas. And uh, I met someone at the at the gas pump uh, who I knew, and we had a wonderful discussion about God while I was pumping gas. And when I finished pumping gas, uh, the receipt that came out of the uh, machine, uh, the amount of money I had spent, came to $17.77. Again, three sevens showed up as I was getting gas after having the test taken. So I'm expecting tremendous favorable results Uh, from the hospital based on the cab on the way in and the cab parked at the front of the hospital. And now as I'm pumping gas, I get another coincidence miracle that God has my bill come out because he knew how much gas was necessary, $17.77, which gave me clearly three sevens, the number for God, meaning he was participating and his power was with me today. God bless you all. I'll talk to you next week.